वेलकम टू कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग प्ले लिस्ट हियर इन दिस सेशन आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू बेसिक्स रिगार्डिंग डी एस बी एस सी डबल साइड बैंड सप्रेज कैरियर सो दिस सेशन इज ऑल अबाउट वॉट इज डी एस बी एस सी वाई देर इज अ नीड ऑफ डी एस बी एस सी हाउ डी एस बी एस सी सिग्नल कैन बी जनरेटेड वॉट इज दैट डी एस बी एस सी सिग्नल एंड हाउ इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन डी एस बी एस सी so all those things that i'll be discussing in this session now see before we go for double sideband single carrier i have already explained you amplitude modulated signal and that we have seen and we have derived its equation am signal and that equation was this output of am signal that is yt is equals to ac cos omega ct plus mu ac by 2 cos of omega c Plus omega m t plus mu a c by two cos of omega c minus omega m t, where this is carrier. This is carrier signal, and this is upper side band signal, and this is lower side band signal. And we have seen some other forms even, where we have seen like amplitude modulated signal is this. and you can simplify this in this term where this is carrier signal and this is side bands now see when we talk about information then information is not there with carrier signal so in am signal we send information plus carrier signal so information is there in side bands so upper side band and lower side band that is having information while in carrier signal there is no information so usually we are wasting power in carrier signal when we send amplitude modulated signal so ultimately in am signal it is having major drawback of carrier signal which is what we are sending over modulated signal so in dsbsc we will be suppressing this it means we don't send this so this is what the component which we eliminate and dsbsc and that is what am signal without carrier so dsbsc is am signal without carrier means double side band suppressed carrier it is having two side bands upper side band and lower side band it is not having carrier signal which is what we are sending in am signal so this is what we need to keep in our mind dsbsc means what dsbsc means double side band suppressed carrier where we don't send carrier signal we only send upper side band and lower side band now see we have already derived power transmission of am so in power transmission of am there are two components of power one is carrier power and one is side band power carrier power is pc and side band power that is mu square by 2 into pc where mu is modulating index so when we send double side band carrier double side band suppressed carrier in that case we we don't send this signal which is carrier signal so only this component that we are delivered to send in dsbsc now see it is how it is creating advantage so for that i am just considering one example of modulating index that is equals to 1 so if modulating index is 1 then you will be finding transmitted power that is pc plus if you place 1 over here so 1 by 2 means 0.5 pc now see in dsbsc we don't send this in dsbsc we don't send this only this component that we are sending so ultimately we are saving this much amount of power when we send information so this is what the basic advantage which is there with dsbsc in which we don't send carrier signal we only send upper side band and lower side band and that is what solving issue of power transmission by very large amount the reason is major part of power you can see 
if you consider total power of am signal that is 1.5 c 1.5 pc for mu is equals to 1 so information power is only 0.5 pc it means only 33 percentage power that is there with side bands and 66 percentage power that is there with carrier so if you send dsbsc you will be saving this much amount of power which is major part of amplitude modulated signal so this is the basic advantage now question is what is the basic case which is there with dsbsc so i'll explain you that by a basic block diagram where here one can see we have two signals one is modulating signal which is low frequency signal and second is carrier signal that is high frequency signal now by using product modulator we can multiply these two signal and we can generate dsbsc output signal like see we have xt that is modulating signal and we have ct that is carrier signal so output of product modulator that is yt that is equals to xt into ct where ct is carrier signal ac cos omega ct so our dsbsc output that is ac xt cos omega ct so this is what the basic out output which is there with dsbsc and that is how we can generate dsbsc signal in future i'll explain you different methods of generation of dsbsc but in layman's language we can understand like this is what dsbsc signal now question is how dsbsc signal will look like so for that i'm considering one example where here you have this modulating signal now to generate dsbsc signal we just need to consider envelope of this so similar negative envelope that i'm plotting here so this is modulating signal by red color now i'm just creating one envelope which is of exactly same out magnitude in opposite direction so this is what basic envelope now when we send signal by multiplying carrier signal then what happens is this carrier signal that is getting multiplied with this so it will be creating this kind of output now what will happen here when zero crossing of this modulating signal is happening at that time output will be having 180 degree phase reversal reversal so here output is having 180 degree phase reversal so here signal is going like this so it should go in this direction if there is no phase reversal but here because of phase reversal signal will having phase reversal like this and this will be the output so ultimately here few points that we need to understand first is in dsbsc we don't send carrier signal in dsbsc we don't send carrier signal second point is only lower side band and upper side band signal is there so only lower side band and upper side band signal that is there in dsbsc and third point that is it has 180 degree phase reversal at zero crossing of modulating signal like see as i have told this is modulating signal so here modulating signal that is positive first so when modulating signal is positive right so at that time output is positively multiplied with ct but when modulating signal that is negative like phase reversal when zero crossing is happening 
modulating signal will be negative. So at that time, output signal will be negative multiplied by CD. So there will be 180 degree phase reversal. Now, when you see its frequency response of DSBSC signal. So in frequency response of DSBSC signal, here there is frequency and here there is amplitude. So in that, you will be finding there is two sidebands, lower sideband and upper sideband. Lower sideband that is having frequency omega c minus omega m and upper sideband that is having frequency omega c plus omega m. And you will be finding omega c that is carrier signal that is having zero magnitude. So only lower side band and upper side band that is what we are forwarding at output side in DSBSC and here if you see what is the bandwidth then bandwidth of this that will be this much and if you see the difference in between these two frequency omega c plus omega m minus omega c minus omega m so that will be 2 omega m so bandwidth of DSBSC that is similar to the bandwidth of AM signal. So there is no change in bandwidth. But we provide reduction in power transmission in DSBSC that we can see over here. So in DSBSC, we save power in terms of transmission power. In DSBSC, bandwidth will be 2 omega M where we don't send carrier signal. So here even you can see in AM signal, we have removed this carrier signal. We only send upper side band and lower side band. So we save extreme amount of power in terms of transmission by having DSBSC in amplitude modulation. And basic generation of DSBSC signal that will be by product modulator, where by just multiplying modulating signal with carrier signal, we have DSBSC signal, and that is what we can generate it like this. Like if modulating signal is like this, make envelope of that and carrier signal that is what we are sending it over modulating signal and when zero crossing is happening at that time carrier signals phase reversal will be there so here this signal by blue color one can see this is dsb sc signal where there will be phase reversal at zero crossing of modulating signal so these are the basics which we need to understand when we send DSBSC signal over channel. In next session, I'll explain different types of modulation for generation of DSBSC. So I'll cover total four different methods by which we can generate DSBSC and that will helpful to you to understand how we can generate DSBSC signal. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can give me your valuable suggestions your suggestions are most welcome. To me, it concludes what is that which is required over here. So probably you should send me your valuable suggestions. Definitely I will take care of all those suggestions. And based on my understanding, I will try to sort out all those queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.